Good evening, everyone. This is GDX Academy taking on transportation method using the Northwest Corner Rule method. So, Northwest Corner Rule method is a simplex. Is the simplest but the most inefficient as it has the highest total transportation cost in comparison to all other methods. The main reason this can be attributed to the fact that the method does not take into account the cost of transportation from all the possible alternatives. The steps needed to solve the transportation problem by Northwest Corner Rule method are Step 1. By allocating to the next Northwest cell from top to left hand cell of transportation matrix that the allowable minimum of the supply and demand capacity of the sales. Step 2. If the allocation made in the first step is equal to the supply or demand available at the first rule or column, then cross out the exhausted rule or column so that no further assignments can so that no further assignments can be made to the said rule or column. Move vertically or horizontally to the next step and apply step one. Step 3. Step 2 should be continued until exactly one row or column is left uncrossed in the transportation matrix. Then make allowable allocation to that row or column and stop. Otherwise, return to step 1. So, therefore, we move next to we apply the following steps to solving transportation model using Northwest Corner Rule method. So, we start, for, we start from the left to the right. For cell 21, the demand and the supply, you allocate, you allocate 50. Therefore, we have nothing left because they are both equal. Therefore, you can just pick one. So, you cancel out each other. So, there is nothing else to be allocated there. Therefore, you, you cancel out the other steps, the other cells. Therefore, you are left with two rows and three columns therefore for cell 18 between the supply and the demand you pick the least amount you pick the cell with least amount which is 60 therefore you write 60 you cancel out the 60 and it remains there you cancel out the 70 it remains 10 therefore we have nothing else to allocate for the for the row b therefore you cancel the remaining cells out therefore we are left with 25 um, one one row three column therefore you allocate between the demand and supply 10 is the smallest one therefore you are I lost 10 you cancel this and put 40 okay therefore you cancel this 10 and put this. so we are left with one row and two column so between the demand and the supply, 30 is the least value there. You put in 30, you cancel the 30 and put there, you cancel the 30 and put 10. So therefore the next step is to allow the remaining 10 to the remaining cells. Which is 10. Cancel zero, cancel zero. So note that this is a balanced this is the balanced transportation model. We will be talking more about the unbalanced cells in the next class. So therefore, you, are, uh, you look for the total cost. Slotting the cells and the value. 20 plus, since you are looking for the total cost, plus 18 in bracket 60 plus 25 in bracket 10 plus 28 in bracket 30 plus 25 in bracket 10 note the total cost is in naira therefore the total amount is 3470 so this is all that you need to know in the northwest this is all you know that you know in transportation model using the Northwest Conan Rule method. So kindly help us to like and subscribe to our channel to so support us. Then looking forward to see you in the next class. Like and subscribe and comment. Thank you.